In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the DDJ Wego with Tractor. First of all, I'll show you how to import your TSI file, make sure your settings are correct, and then I'll show you some of the basic playback features and functions. So, first of all, you need to import your TSI file. What this file does is it maps all of the controls on the Wego to the functions of Tractor. That way you're able to dive in mixing without any unnecessary configuration and mapping of the controller. We've done it all for you, so let's go ahead and import that file. I've downloaded it from pioneerdj.com slash support, so I'm going to go find it in my downloads folder. Open up your preferences, and then down here at the bottom left, you'll see the button import. Give that a click. I know it's in my downloads folder, so there it is. And then click open. Then you'll be prompted with this dialog here, which basically asks you whether you're willing to keep your old settings or you want to switch to the new settings of the Wego. I'm happy with the keyboard mapping, controller mappings, etc. of the Wego TSI, so I'm just going to click OK. But, however, you could uncheck each of these if you want. So click OK. And basically what I'm going to do now is go back through the menu and make sure that everything is set up right. There are two ways to set up your sound card. If you want to play out properly with external speakers and headphone queuing, you need to select the Wego sound card. Now in output routing, go to internal and set your monitor to your headphones left and right and the master output to the master left and right. You'll see here it's already ready to go. If you just want to mess around and listen to a few tracks, you can use your laptop speakers. If you do so, you won't be able to queue up your tracks with headphones. If you're using a Mac, we'll show you how to get around this limitation by joining sound cards in a later video. One last thing before we can get started. Go to Controller Manager. Then, make sure in Devices the Wego is selected. In the Import and Outport, you also need to select the Wego. Finally, make sure device target is set to focus. So, let's load up a couple tracks. Use the browsing encoder here at the top to scroll through each file. But if you want to go back to your directory here on the left, you need to hold down Shift and then use the browsing knob. So here's a playlist of some of my tracks, and I'm going to go ahead and just choose a few. To load one to each deck, all you need to do is hit the load button for either side to make sure it loads to it. Just like that. And here we've got another one. Great. Now we've got tracks loaded up and we're ready to go. Like I mentioned earlier, all the controls are already mapped to the software to make it very easy for you to get started. One limitation of Tractor is that you can't use all four decks simultaneously and the sampler. You have to choose between using deck C and D or the sampler. So I'm going to set it up to where I can use the sampler. Unfortunately, you also can't use the browsing knob to load samples into Tractor, so I'm going to use my mouse for this one. I'm going to scroll down. I set up a playlist earlier. Here we go. Give that a click and drag it onto your sample deck. Now, what I want to do is select deck C. That's the sample deck, as you can see, A, B, C, and D. And you actually don't have to turn on the sampler button in Tractor. You can go ahead and just hit it like it's a hot cue, and that'll give you playback of your sample. So you can trigger it just like that. You can load them up on each deck, and it functions the exact same way. In the next videos, we'll be showing you how to use the DDJ Wego with Algorithms DJ. We'll also be answering any questions you might have, and we'll also show you some tips and tricks.